What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the first episode of the Dog Leg Show with my host Caleb Manuel and George Langham. Yep. I'm Carter Laughlin. Cover a lot of cool topics today, Caleb. You want to talk about some of them? Um, yeah, we covered um, just how we all our journey here and how we got to UGA, and um, we got a surprise guest on Facetime from Hawaii who just had um, some success over there. Um, talk about our new assistant coach Mookie and how he's a you know, nice addition to what we have um, and kind of our qualifying and upcoming uh, spring schedule. And uh, we're looking forward to a good spring season. Thank you all uh, for tuning in. Um, please uh, like and uh, subscribe on the YouTube. Uh, all of our social media platforms is at the Dog Leg Show and Dogs, D-A-W-G. Um, and like leave a comment and stuff if like there's, you know, a UJ golfer that, y'all want to see on or something cool if like you want to do something like out of us out on the course kind of just give us stuff feedback that y'all think uh would be cool to see of like kind of what's it like being a uga golfer and you know meeting cool people and talking to them about their their experience either on tour or past experiences and stuff like that so yeah make sure you guys tune in yeah tune in thanks got some exciting stuff all right yeah, first episode of the Dog Leg Show. Sweet. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> this is it. Yeah. Um, I am one of your hosts, Carter Laughlin. These are my co-hosts. Yep. Caleb Manuel. Uh, George Lang. Yep. Yeah. We are on. We are on the UGA golf team. Yeah. I'm a. I'm a sophomore here at UGA. And George. Yeah, I'm a. I'm a redshirt junior. And I'm a senior. Sweet. Yeah. So, I guess we'll start off. We'll start off with some introductions, just about ourselves and you know, how we got here. So, uh, I'll start with, I'll start with you, George, just, you know. Yeah. No. So, um, so kind of like some backstory on me with Georgia and Georgia golf, like my dad, he played here kind of in the early nineties. Um, he played here for four years. Um, and then, so obviously I've always loved Georgia and Georgia golf. Um, and so coming out, I was kind of a late bloomer in golf, I would say, and I didn't really play competitive golf. till kind of like, uh, early, it was really late middle school, kind of like eighth grade, freshman year of high school is kind of when I started getting into golf. Um, so I went to a small school down in Brunswick, Georgia. It's like just inland from uh, St. Simons Island, so it's like southeast Georgia. Um, I played there for three years. Um, I had a good career there. I was a three-time All-American there, and um, it was a great time. I learned so much. I mean, obviously I wanted to come here as a freshman, but um, wasn't good enough. Um, yeah, I wasn't. Uh, <laughs> and uh, freshman year, I obviously, it was a goal of mine to come here, transfer from here. Uh, so I worked really hard. And then obviously this past summer, kind of spring, I kind of have been talking to Hack and uh, Doug. And then it worked out that I can come here and transfer. And it's been, it's been a, literally a dream since, like, ever since I stepped foot here on campus. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm redshirted this year. Um, so I'll have one more year of eligibility next year, and then yeah, that'll be my. What was your coach's down there named? Uh, yeah, Cookie. so my coach there is uh, Mike Cook, Cookie. Yeah. Um, Pro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's uh, he was something. He was awesome though. Um, he played here uh, at Georgia, um, so there's obviously a lot of Georgia ties. Um, and then obviously like St. Simons, there's God, there's how many Georgia golfers are down there? I mean, there's Harris. There's uh, Keith There's Mitchell, of them. Grayson Sig. I mean, yeah. Mookie. Yeah, Mookie. Formerly Mookie. We, we can get into Mookie in a little bit. But, um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of – and I was fortunate enough, I got to practice out at Sea Island and see kind of how they practice and stuff, and that made me better. But, yeah, I mean, that's kind of my introduction. And then got here, and here I am. Sweet. Yeah. Doing the podcast. Yeah, now I'm on, now I'm on a, podcast. He's, a, he's arrived. Yeah. Caleb, story from <laughs> Maine. Yep, from Maine. Uh, a lot of people ask how I uh, play golf from Maine, but I do it. Um, luckily, be down here for uh, in some warmer weather, but I uh, transferred just like George from uh, UConn. Um, spent two years there, and then this is my second year here. Roll skis. Yeah, roll skis, <laughs> defending champs. Um, yeah. Going to go back to back. But, um, yeah, I enjoyed my two years up north in uh, UConn um, and wanted to be pushed a little bit more to – um, for the next level and pro golf and stuff like that and um, felt like this was a good fit for me and um, the schedule and the resources and just the former players is uh, really cool and um, I feel like I fit right in once I once I got here yeah it's good stuff so 
for me, um, I, I, you know, I started here as a freshman, so I didn't transfer in like these two, but, um, you know, I was a little bit of a late grower. I didn't, you know, I was kind of like you a little bit, George. I didn't bloom until, you know, junior year of high school, late sophomore year of high school. So I had a growth spurt and, um, my, so the way the recruiting rules work for college golf is that, you know, their coaches aren't allowed to talk to you before June 15th going into your junior year. So, um, pretty much up to that point, I was terrible. Um, and I grew, uh, at the perfect time and COVID happened, which was kind of a blessing in disguise for me. Um, cause school stopped. So I had a lot of time to practice going into that summer and, um, you know, had a good summer, had a couple of big wins and, you know, everything just kind of worked out at the right time. And, Next thing I knew, I had Doug call on my phone. <laughs> I always remember the first phone call with Douglas. It's about four and a half hours long, yeah. it seemed like. <laughs> Talking like about this, nothing. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> I, think, <clears throat> I think leading up to that, I literally – I had talked to a number of other coaches, and everybody's, you know, giving you kind of the same questions. And then, uh, you know, you get, you get Douglas on the phone, and I don't think we said a single thing about golf in an hour and 45 <laughs> minutes. Yeah. So – yeah, yeah that one that. that one stood out that mm-hmm. one stood out so yeah but it's uh it's been an amazing you know experience here you know obviously you can tell sitting behind us we got a pretty sick locker room so, yeah, yeah yeah it's a good it's a good setup for sure yeah this is but, pretty pretty sweet for sure yeah so um i don't know what do y'all want to talk about next what i would thinking? just add on that i was kind of a late blossomer too like yeah uconn and uri was yeah kind of my only two schools coming out of high school and then um kind of had some success in like the big east golf um but yeah i would say those were you know my only two options and i was kind of my kind of a homebody so i didn't want to be too far from home and um after being at college i kind of realized that you know you're away from home so go as far as you want yeah Yeah, for sure definitely made the right decision looking back at it yeah that first year in college especially playing sports pretty eye-opening it's different yeah it's a lot different for sure i have a question for you carter um I never really kind of knew this. Like, for me, I've obviously, like, Georgia's always been my dream school and stuff. But what, like, what was the moment that you knew you are like, all right, I'm going to commit to Georgia kind of thing? Because you do kind of like out uh, Well, that's, that's a dirty secret. Um, yeah. So I will confess in this, you know, I won't walk any, I won't walk down any dark alleys after saying this. But, you know, <laughs> especially here in Athens. But I did, uh, I did, I did grow up. An Alabama fan. I'm shameless to admit that. Yeah. You know, um, I won't say roll tide here because that'll make a number of people angry. Um, but yeah, so I grew up an Alabama fan. That was, um, that was, you know, when, when I was growing up, you know, they had Justin Thomas, Bobby Wyatt, Corey Whitsett. They had some amazing golfers and obviously I love, you know, the football and everything. My mom's from there. Um, so I grew up an Alabama fan, but, you know, um, as I grew up more and more, I, I had a, I had a good friend who I played golf with every single day named Zach Healy, who graduated here in 2018, I believe. He was an All-American and, you know, he played for Acker and Doug and, you know, I was, you know, I always told my parents, I was like, I'd, I'd, I'd go there. They're like, no, you wouldn't. I'm like, no, you wouldn't. You bleed crimson. I'm like, I would go there. I would definitely go there. Um, mm-hmm. so I always, you know, kind of had like, you know, aspirations, you know, they were big to come here. I didn't really think it would happen, but, um, I don't know. I think, you know, when I was being recruited, it was weird because during COVID you couldn't, you couldn't actually take official visits to schools. So you had the only reference you had to these people were what you talked to them, you know, when you talked to them on the phone, that was like it. So, you know, um, I'd say, you know, the first phone call I had with Doug was very interesting, and I don't know if it was a good or bad thing because <laughs> I was like, this is just this is just different like than every other coach I've talked to. Mm-hmm. So that kind of got me, you know, interested, and I, you know, um, you know, after, obviously I wasn't allowed to take an official visit, but I live an hour away from here in Duluth, so yeah. I was able to come up here and just kind of look around the campus on my own fruition and whatnot, and... Um, I don't know, just like after seeing everything and it was summertime and there was nobody here, but 
I was like, this place is pretty cool. Yeah. And, you know, um, I have a really good relationship with my swing coach. So being an hour down the road from him, mm -hmm. um, he's up in Johns Creek. So being like an hour and 15 minutes from him was a big part of the decision. Okay. Just, you know, not really, um, you know, not being too far from home. Yeah. My mom, my mom wanted me pretty close too. So okay. she was, she yeah. ended up being okay with it. Mm -hmm. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just, I never knew that. I just, yeah. just kind of wondered, like, there was, like, a moment where you're, like, I'm going to commit to Georgia, like, after something happened. It just made, it made sense. It made sense at the time. I was, I, I, my whole entire approach to it was, like, if it, like, with college recruitment was, like, if it makes sense, then, you know, you might as well just do it. Yeah. You know, it's just mm -hmm. kind of one of those things. I feel, yeah. I feel like it's one of, it's one of those things, the harder you look for a place, the more you think about it, the harder the decision gets. Yeah. But, Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, think Doug has a way of just buttering people up, and <laughs> <laughs> Doug's our assistant coach, and he does all the recruiting. But he same way, like talked to me about absolute nothing and like food and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. really just a bro. Yeah, yeah. like at the end yeah. of the day, like you know, he's ob obviously very in insightful on mm -hmm. the golf course and about golf, but um, excellent recruiter. Yeah, yeah. excellent recruiter. Yeah, I think sure. that kind of shows he recruits. He recruits a uh, definitely recruits a type. It's for sure. I think it shows, you know, a lot of the guys out on tour are kind of the same dude. Mm -hmm. They're all very similar. They all get along super yeah, well. I think that close. says a lot about how they recruit here, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. But, uh, cool. Yeah. So you want to pivot to, uh, Kirk's win? Yeah. Might it's be like more FaceTime from Kirk here. Current right? news, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, very exciting. exciting. Yeah. Exciting one in Hawaii. Yep. It was pretty good stuff. Because Kirk, Kirk and Brendan Todd are kind of like the two that are here. Like we see, out yeah. practicing right out here and stuff because pretty much almost all of the other guys live in St. Simons. But mm -hmm. yeah, I mean that was that was that was really cool. Yeah. Um, I think we might try to get him on the phone for a little FaceTime. He's uh in Sony. That's he's still in Hawaii. He's got another tournament there. Yep. But um. UGA tour. UGA tour. Oh, is he on here? Kirk, all right. We got Chris Kirk, the champ. Here's the champ. champ. What's going on? We're here on we're here on the we're here on the pod. So yeah. You're in front you're in front of bright lights. We got yeah. George right What's here. What's going on? And we got we got Caleb. Kirk. Yeah, we were just we were just yeah we were just talking about it. Congrats, dude. That's awesome. I appreciate it. Solid solid shot. You yeah. hit on seventeen. That's pretty clutch. Flatliner. Yeah, we'll that Flatliner. Yeah. <laughs> that's sick. Shout out to Crony too. Is Crony there with you? Is uh is is Chromie out there with you too right now? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out, <laughs> shout out to Chromie. This yeah, is our this is our. F there you go. Nice. Um, this is our first this is our first episode on the pod, so we want we wanted to. I'm honored. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully I'm we honored. can get you on here at some point. That would be awesome. Yeah. yeah. One day when you're when you're yeah, back we're in just Athens. Strolling, strolling around, pounding a Mountain Dew right now. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Little yeah. wet, little winter street. Love yeah, that. Better. Love that. That weather's better, way better yeah. than ours. Yeah, yeah. We're 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 cold and uh we're cold and rainy over here in Athens today. So, so you're getting you're getting the better of it. I imagine palm trees are probably pretty nice. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> yeah, my wife sent my wife sent me a few pictures of our creek at our house, and it was just crazy how flooded it was. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's just been jumping. Yeah, D Doug, weatherman Douglas was telling us that we had a million percent chance of rain today, and he was correct. So, yeah, it was good stuff. He's correct, he's correct about once a week or so. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, thanks for coming on. We'll let you get back to your practice round. Good luck this week. Absolutely. Thanks, boys. All right, yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Have All a good right. one. Take it easy. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if y'all saw it or not, but definitely, I mean, the shot that won him the tournament was that shot on 17. Ended up he won he won by one, yeah. um, but that shot was amazing for sure. But uh, and then his caddy, I don't know if many people know Michael Cromie. He <laughs> uh, he played and went to Georgia as well. So it was, a <laughs> big, it was full. It was it was UGA, yeah. It was UGA tour out there. Yeah, this weekend. yeah. Like it was, kids it was kids said on. that on the broadcast. Yeah, he was like yeah, kids in the booth. Yeah, yeah. What I was uh, what I was gonna say though is. I think you know they Doug Doug and Hack told me this a while back, but his nickname here was uh, was Flatliner. Mm -hmm. That's what they call him. They call him a Flatliner because it looks like he's got no pulse out there, which I think is pretty fitting. Yeah, because yeah, I mean he I mean it's just like he's super yeah. chill. stoic on the outside. Yeah, 
Probably absolutely a stud. Bit, but yeah, flat, add to flatline. Flatline. It's very fitting. Yeah. I know it's just cool. It's cool to see that type of thing. You know, you see so many of these dudes on TV. You know, we we have a good bit of interaction. Obviously, you know, B Todd and Kirk are very involved with us every single day, which is a cool thing. So you know, um, it's. It's cool to watch him play on TV, much less win. Yeah, because you know? you're just like you kind of see him work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, you root for him and yeah, you know their game because you played with them. Yeah, and then yeah, it's, it's just cool to see. And they're similar in ways where they don't hit it very far compared to nowadays. I know Chris Kirk's, brought Kirk sneak bomb. I saw yeah. one seventy three ball speed from yeah, he's he's eighteen third he's round, but um, yeah, B Todd might be a little behind him, but they both just roll it and chip and putt it mm-hmm. like no one else yeah i was gonna say there must be something to playing lefty have y'all seen that about him yeah. he plays lefty the yeah, whole he, entire offseason he told me like right two after months. tour championship he's like yeah i think i'm just gonna play lefty for that's absurd to me <laughs> didn't didn't practice righty for two months yeah, yeah. i mean i'd have to think that, that would mess me up at some point like must be my body would get mixed up yeah, yeah. It must be something to it yeah, kirk's we, got something we only get lefty down. clubs and i think he there. wanted time off but he didn't want time off so he just kind of yeah that would kinda be had, fun, had fun with it yeah. have y'all seen his lefty swing yeah he posted something on instagram he stripes it the golf channel was he stripes it yeah it's a little off topic but there was this guy in maine who tried to do that um <laughs> for a, for a money calcutta really to play lefty but you can't have two separate handicaps you only can have one handicap because it's you Oh, but so he you tried to do lefty, get a higher he handicap? Won, yeah, he won, a, he won as a lefty handicap. as like a 16 handicap, and then they were like, no, this isn't right. Like, you just won all the money, and you're playing lefty, and you're getting 16 shots. I feel like that's fair. I don't know. You I mean, he's lefty. You he only, well, how, you only have one handicap. How is he lefty? He's I mean, got to be pretty good if he won Calcutta. Yeah. Mid-80s, I mean, but like... Oh, so he won it. They won't. Oh, and then oh they okay. Took yeah. it back and kind of said, oh, okay. like, this, yeah, yeah. this is not right. <laughs> uh, it sounds to me like he's cheating the system, personally. Yeah. Play smarter, not harder. That was right after COVID, so he, he learned how to play lefty in COVID, and then <laughs> <laughs> is, he was ready. That he is some ready. stuff you would only hear out of Maine. Yeah. <laughs> That's killer. Yeah. That's killer. Um, but, yeah, kids had to clean up pretty good for that podcast. They Or not for the podcast, uh, for, <laughs> for the broadcast. Yeah. they were. They, I remember them saying, I was watching it. Um, I forgot which night it was, but I was watching them in uh, – and all the players, I guess, were asking, you know, like, is kids still on there? You guys, how, how, how big is the delay yeah. <laughs> for yeah. yeah. Which I feel like, you know, I mean, maybe I don't really feel like he has that dirty of a mouth. Like, I mean, he's yeah, pretty witty. No. He's just witty. He loves to, he loves I thought, to talk I thought he did great. I yeah, thought it was, like, killer. a different, finally something like. Perspective. Like yeah, a different perspective for yeah. sure, yeah. Yeah. And then, obviously, kids is funny. He's so. always just, like, joking around. Yeah, I thought, not, I thought it was great. Because I think – Yeah. Because <laughs> he's only in for – what, is he doing the, the waste management? Yeah, I right? think it was this last week in waste management where his uh, – Kind of like the two he's doing. Yeah, where his two that he was yeah. doing. So. Yeah, that'll be cool. Yeah, yeah waste think, management would be yeah, awesome. That'd be so that'd be I thought awesome he killed too. it, though. Yeah. he killed it. Can I play a little bit? I think he's playing this week. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think I saw something about that. Yeah. So. I feel like it's something pretty cool that there's the big craze, what was it, 10 years ago or so, that when Tony Romo got off the field mm-hmm. and, like, came into the booth and, like, he had so much insight and it was just, like, they're going to call this play right here and then, boom, like, he was on it. Yeah. And was, I feel like that's what it was like for golfers having kids. And we've had, obviously, a ton of former golfers slide into the booth and do mm-hmm. that, but no one so recently is, like, I mean, he's teeing it up. Mm-hmm. Um, this yeah, week, this yeah. Week. Yeah, so, it's different. And it's kind of, it's, I think it speaks to what you guys are doing with, like, it's that insight that people love. They love the interaction between player and caddy or, like, working through a yardage. Or mm-hmm. uh, we, you get that in other sports. You're starting to see it more and more, but it's refreshing to see it in golf. And I think that's what you guys are doing, which yeah. hopefully the viewers would agree to. That it's yeah. Not, yeah. It's yeah. Cool aspect, getting that inside the ropes feel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. yeah. So I like, I'm, it's cool. It's cool that they're doing that, that, uh, the mic'd up segment out there on tour now, too, with, like, the. You know where they yeah. interview guys as they walk down the fairway too. Is that's would that's would, cool would y'all do that? I'd be open to it. it I don't depends know. on where I'm at in the tournament. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if I would do that a little bit because like did it last I think it'd be fun. Like it'd be it'd be great if you like play the whole great kind of thing. But yeah. like if you went in the hazard or something, I'd be like kind of lose I'm your like not concentration. Like, yeah, I don't bit. I don't want it kind of yeah. thing. But it would it would be. I mean, I guess it would be a little. It would be interesting, but I mean, I feel like. I don't know. There's definitely a certain type of person it takes to, yeah. to do yeah. that. I don't yeah. know if I'd be that guy. I'd show him how to hit a left ball. 
Yeah. No, that's not true. Come on, no, Carter. Bro. Give me the shot tracer. No. It's nice to have kids on there because I know we, not to hate on some of the announcers, but we sit down and we watch and they make some, you know, some pretty there's, obvious comments that, yeah. you know, there's yeah. definitely, know and, yeah, there's definitely a difference in, uh, in expectations between typical, um, you know, golf announcers and, and, you know, when you put somebody like, kids in the booth he's like you know this is still pretty hard yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's yeah. still golf's yeah. still a pretty hard sport yeah, so that is that is pretty refreshing a little more yeah that's refreshing for sure but um yeah so y'all want to pivot to uh to spring schedule so we got puerto rico first and then where do we go from there do you remember i think going? vegas, vegas. Then, then great waters yeah here in georgia and then uh we go to san francisco somewhere yeah there. tbc harden park is that after Great Waters? Yeah, I think so. And then uh, Loose Pines, the last one, and then SECs in St. Simons. Yeah, we get conference regionals, hopefully in CAAs. Yeah, so, yeah. Exciting. Yeah, it's spring, full spring season push. Yeah, spring season push. <laughs> yeah. it goes by, it flies it goes. by fast. That yeah, was thing. That was the thing last year that I was like, this is absolutely nuts because you almost forget that you're in school. Oh. To be honest, like, <laughs> like there's yeah. there's weeks where you're like, you're like. Uh, Okay, I just remember, I remember there was there was a swing where Vegas falls for us, right like or at least last year it fell like right before our spring break, and we went right from Vegas to, mm -hmm. um, down to Scottsdale to play practice rounds at Greyhawk, and we were gone for like two weeks yeah, like straight, and days. that was just... like, and I was like, am I still a student? Yeah, like, yeah. This is when we got home. It felt like <laughs> yeah, it was <laughs> yeah. nuts. It was nuts, but yeah, it's busy. It just flies by. Yeah, it just uh, it flies by. You look up, and I just like I feel like I, I remember very clearly the first tournament la last year in LA, the first one we opened up with in the spring, and then, um, you know, after that, it was like it just flew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you kind of forget things too. You just kind of float. And, I, yeah. float I float through life. Yeah, yeah, it's a thing. But um, <laughs> we're doing a little match play thing um, within the team to find the first spot to Puerto Rico, and I think that's pretty cool. Our yeah. new assistant coach uh, recommended that and mm -hmm. got the bracket set up. You want to talk about some matchups? or? Yeah, yeah, I can talk about some matchups. So, like, do we have the bracket with us? No, but I think I got it. Yeah. I know you got JT. Yep, I'm playing JT first. Um, I think we're actually playing tomorrow uh, out at Athens Country Club. Hopefully Starting it early. dries up a little bit. But, yeah, I'm playing JT tomorrow. Um, then you can say who you're playing. I got Creasy. Connor. Connor Creasy. Who are you playing? I got Beck. Burnett. Beck Burnett, yep. Yeah. And then the other match is uh, – Benny and Cam. Yeah, Benny and Ben Van. Yeah, and then – Fun vacation. Yeah, fun. fun. <laughs> um, and then Buck's playing – Well, we have nine, right? So Buck gets a bye. Oh, does he? Yeah, because yeah, they, they did the, the ranking off uh, – what is it, scoring average or just like ranking of yeah. the go – the not golf stat now, what's it called? Spike mark. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, so we're doing that, and then there's four rounds of qualifying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so then after um, that. For four more spots, because yeah. Ben is already exempt, and then we got, yeah. we're taking an individual to Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. so. That'll be fun. I mean, we didn't, like a match play thing would be a different feel. Yeah. And I like match play. It's kind of I'm glad that there's fun. something on the line, too, because we, you remember, we did this last yeah. year, and it was, it was good to get, like, a little bit of a competitive, um, you know, kind of emulation of what tournament would be like, but there wasn't really – anything solidified yeah, so play for. yeah i think it's kind of cool that there's uh yeah we're gonna be grinding it out it's yeah i think we might i think we might i think that Ryder cup thing is going to happen as well where we kind of do it yeah. in team Ryder cup maybe yeah. half with doug half with mook yeah mookie yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so that'll be uh that'll be a good thing too so i think we'll be able to stay pretty sharp whole spring yeah. mm -hmm. so that'll be that'll be a nice thing yeah. um but yeah as far as qualifying goes i think we're going to do four rounds just four days straight that's how it's going to fit into the schedule. And then we'll be off to uh, palm trees and sunshine. So, yeah, yeah that'll be. February 10th. February. It's, I, the, the tournament dates on our schedule are like the 11th through the 14th, okay. I think. Yeah. I could be wrong on that. I was 30 minutes late to the bus one time. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Um, Chata. <laughs> that was brute. That was brute. I thought I was going to get my head chopped off. Yeah. yeah. Carter, I saw, I saw that video. Was, that was funny. 
Carter was the last one to get in the lineup for Hawaii, and he was 30 minutes late to the bus uh, <laughs> oh, to the geez. airport. <laughs> I thought we left. I looked at our travel itinerary. I, I've got a terrible habit of assuming. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. That's my New Year's resolution, not mm-hmm. to not to be such an assumer. But, but yeah, I, I literally yeah. looked at it. I thought it said 11.30, and I was sitting at breakfast at Ideal Bagel. Yeah, <laughs> with our old roommate. Shout out Ideal Bagel. I love yeah. that place. Please give me denial. Um, and, yeah, legit, like, yeah. Just, got a call, I got from, a call Hacker. from Hacker. I was like, I know, I got six calls. <laughs> I got six calls. I was like, whoa, because yeah. I don't know. I don't always answer the phone on the no, first one. Don't. And a couple of people called me before, and then Hacker called me, and I was like, that's the sixth call I've gotten in five minutes. Mm-hmm. I should probably answer that one. Yeah, that was rough. He was pretty nice about it, I, th- I thought. Yeah, he was, he, was, he was easy on me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> luckily, lucky. luckily. He I didn't think... Yeah, I didn't think I was going to make it to the airport that day. Yeah. We're bringing on a new addition this spring. Yep. Mickey yes. Mookie DeMoss. Very exciting. Who we referred to earlier. Yeah. You, you know you know Mookie a little bit just from being down in St. Thomas with him for a couple years, right? Yeah, I mean, I really didn't see Mookie much um, in St. Thomas. I was obviously had my own team stuff and school. But, yeah, I mean, he was down there practicing. He he played many tours. He had his Corn Ferry card. No, but he'll be, like, a great – like, we had workouts this morning – and, uh, like, Mookie was there working out with us, which would be awesome. Kind of like – he's almost like another guy on the team again. And yeah. he's super all like super fun to be around already. And wealth of knowledge. Yeah, he's got so much knowledge and stuff. And he's, he's kind of going to implement, like, a kind of more, like, structured practice, I should say. And we're going to, yeah. like – because he's obviously a great player in himself. So we'll be out there practicing with him, uh, doing chipping games, you know, wedge stuff with him, kind of – getting dialed in with our numbers and stuff like that, which will be, I think will be huge for us getting better and better come uh, conference and nationals. Yeah. Yeah, I think Hacker and Doug like to um, lay back a little bit, and Mookie's going to be more, you know, hands-on. Mm-hmm. And, um, I think it'll be a good addition, and he gets to travel with us and uh, be on the road and on the golf course with us. So I think it's going to be uh, really helpful. Yeah. It's been – he's he's caddied. He's, yeah, he's done it all. Yeah, he's yeah. done it I mean, all. He's, he's caddy for Kurt. Yeah, caddy yeah. for Kurt. Yeah, one of one of one of the one of, part of the Kurt caddy <laughs> yeah. arsenal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, he's legit. He's very legit. I've already learned. Uh, I've already learned some stuff in the first couple of days. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. I mean, because I mean, Hacker and Doug's whole thing is they're they're pretty hands off with us, and they mm-hmm. give us a lot of freedom. Yeah, which is, which is a good thing. Yeah. But yeah, so Mookie Mookie will be a good. Uh, That'll be a good influence for us to have just if we have any questions. It's not yeah. like he's going to be butting in off. Yeah, anything. he says, just, like, you can use me as much as you want or as yeah. well. So yeah. it's not like he's just going to, you know, schedule 8 a.m. on Saturday and be like, no, yeah, all right, let's get it. out here. That's yeah. not it. Do a wedge combine. That's not um, it at all. But, yeah, it's going to be a good addition, and I think he knows a lot. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. We could start with just pick picks. It could be anything. We could do any. We could pick anything between. I'm trying to find a. Playoff matchups bracket. for us. Garth, you're good at that. You can announce them go. to us. All right, I'm gonna announce them. George, you gotta. Me, go am I first? Yeah, yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. So we got Texans versus the Browns. Browns. Um, Kansas City versus Miami. Uh, it's in Kansas City, right? And I think the yeah. weather's gonna be. It's also zero degrees. Yeah. I don't think Miami. I don't think they like the cold. So yeah. Kansas City. Okay. Then you got the Bills and the Steelers. Bills. Uh, Cowboys and Packers. I think that'll be a good game. I think the uh, – sadly, I think the Cowboys will win by okay. a field goal. All right. You going to pick an upset here? Um, the Lions and the Rams. Uh, Rams. I, I like Matthew Stafford. Okay. And then you got uh, the Bucks and the Eagles. Um, I'm – I don't really like Baker Mayfield. I'm going to go Eagles. But <laughs> I don't really like both those teams, honestly. Uh, but, right. I mean, That's the Eagles, a Eagles. lot of dogs, a lot on, of the dogs Eagles, on the Eagles. But so, you're going with the Eagles? I don't – yeah, I said Eagles, okay. didn't I? Yeah, but I don't really like Jalen Hurts. Do you remember all those games? You're going to have to announce yeah. them for me again. <laughs> all right, Texans, Browns. Go with C.J. Stroud on that. Actually, no. I'm going to go with the Browns. Joe Flacco is the best quarterback in the league. All right. Yep. Best quarterback of all time. That's what I'm thinking. Um, you got the Chiefs and the Dolphins. Chiefs and Dolphins. I like the Dolphins. Okay. Bills. Did you say Dolphins? Yeah. 
Wow. All right, Bills and Steelers. <laughs> Daniel, he's my boy. Bills, Steelers. Uh, Bills. Uh, Green Bay and Dallas. I think Green Bay. Wow. Yeah. Here we go. Shocking. Ray. I just, I just want to, I, I just want to see Stephen A. Rage <laughs> on first take. Uh, Rams and um, Detroit Lions. Uh, Detroit. And then you got the Eagles in Tampa Bay. Mm, Eagles by yeah. seven touchdowns. Seven? Yeah. That's brutal. Yeah, okay. Tampa Bay. Baker All right. Tampa Bay's got your defense. For me, oh. you want to read the mayor or you want me to just read <laughs> They are dumpster fire. Uh, I'll just read them. Yeah. All yeah. right, I got the Browns in the Texans matchup. Um, Kansas City over Miami. I'm going to go Steelers over the Bills. Whoa. Um, shout out my Crazy. buddy back home, Kate Sharon, who's a diehard Steelers fan. They're going to find a way. <laughs> they, Steelers got in there, TJ Watt, and they have Mason Rudolph, I think. Yeah, they're going to find a way. Um, <laughs> Dallas, Dallas is going to win it all. Dallas is going to beat Green Bay. That's crazy. Um, Lions over the LA Rams, and then Eagles beat the Bucks. And then we'll just do Super Bowl picks. At, I got the Cowboys. Cowboys. Y'all are both Cowboys? Uh, no, no, no. I didn't. I, oh. I didn't even pick the Cowboys. Oh, I thought you, you had, I thought George. You. 49ers. Purdy. McCaffrey. I think Lamar's locked in. Ravens. Ravens. Okay. He's Ravens locked in. They, got, they asked him if he was locked in. He said he was locked in. Was I believe the man. He looks like it. No. <laughs> I'm not a believer. It's Cowboys here. I like the Ravens. They're solid. Solid as a rock. Chris McCaffrey's yeah. pretty good, too. They got Roquan. Yeah. Who do we like for this week at the uh, Century? Or is... Oh, oh yeah, that's a good one, too. Yeah, it's the uh, Sony. Sony. So, Sony. Yeah. Sony. Um, Ooh, I don't know. See, that's that's an interesting question because Kirk. Kirk also <laughs> plays very good there. I think if I remember correctly, <laughs> just there's a lot of holes that go left on that golf course, <laughs> and Kirk – Likes the ball to go left. Yeah. So it's a money draw. Every yeah, time. money draw. It's been done before. JT went back to back. It. I could see him. I could actually. There's a very real chance. I think there was. Kind Kirk finished time. what? He finished like third there last year. Yeah. Now? No, yeah. And I think Field. he saved. I think he had to play good at that tournament a couple years ago to keep his card, and he finished second that year. He's had some really good finishes. There. Yeah. So Siwoo Kim's the defending champion. Speed um, play. Spieth, uh, I'm sure because he was. Because they're all down there. Yeah, I mean, all the guys who played this past I'm gonna week pick are Spieth. probably Spieth. Just because he played well last week. And I'm gonna going. go Eric Cole if he's if he's playing. I don't. I think he's playing. Well, look at the field. I don't. I don't. It wasn't up on the ESPN. I don't know I, if uh, I'm gonna go with Denny McCarthy. Yeah. I mean, there's no. Is Scheffler's not playing, right? I don't know. Probably. I mean, they're already over there. A lot of those guys play just yeah. because they're already over there. But, I mean, that course is pretty short. Eric McCarthy Cole. rolls the piss out of it. So, I don't know. I could see Kirk, Danny McCarthy down the stretch. Could be. Could be. Never know. Ludwig. It's hard to pick golf. Is Ludwig playing? Probably. I'd imagine. Yeah, we probably should have looked at the field. Yeah, we're kind of just I know Kirk's shooting. playing. No, we, know Kirk's play, we know Kirk's playing for sure. Yeah, we yeah, got to practice. I think it's going to be – I think Kirk's going to be up there for sure. That's – Yeah. That's my guess. I'll sleep on B-Todd. Is B-Todd playing? Yeah. Kirk, B-Todd. That's a good course he's for both of them. Driver, right? yeah. 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 He's probably already got one. They yeah. Those guys up pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's not the, – the equipment's not too hard to come by out there. They got those – Fancy tour trucks. I don't know if they brought them over to. Well, they can't bring them over to Hawaii, but I'd imagine, unless they put them. I mean, they got something. They got something over there. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. yeah. they got plenty. Yeah, they don't. They don't cry over a broken driver shaft for too long, without a doubt. No. Yeah. So, that's basically it for today, right? Jordan Spieth. (laughs) Jordan Spieth. Eric Cole. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Kirk back to back. Final answer. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Helps when you got FaceTime problems. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. And yeah. maybe get him on. Definitely helps. On bug. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Once like he has a bye week or something. if he watches this and like yeah, slides to the end, sees that you come picked on. him twice, he'll come. Yeah. Come on. Shout out to all the dogs on tour. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Swing by. Yeah. U- UGA Seriously. tour. It's a UGA tour. Bring it. Bring it. Hacker and Doug on here one episode. Same time. For sure. Same time. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't think Doug would let Hacker speak. Yeah. Yeah, Doug would be. Mookie would be great. 
they should be. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to, to cut a lot of Doug Doug's episode. <laughs> but we're cut gonna try to have a lot of guests on. Maybe Michael Block and <laughs> oh, Blocky, yeah. Blocky. Yeah, there's story on that. We'll get to later. But uh, yeah. yeah, try to get some guests on from just UGA golf, and I think that'll be cool to get their insights and stories on tour. Mm-hmm. Get some on course content. Yeah, on course content yeah. would be amazing. That'd yeah. be fun. Do a little match. That would be fun for us, yeah. Yeah, it'd be awesome. We could do it, for sure. Look like Garrett Golf out there. Yeah. Good, good. Bad, bad. Garrett Mitchell. <laughs> yeah, bad, yeah, we're bad, bad golf. <laughs> bad, bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I think that's pretty much wraps up the first episode here. Yeah. If you guys made it to the end, thanks for listening. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Always, always, always appreciate that. Yeah. For sure. <laughs>